What's good, Wolves? Then what is good? It's your boy Locked Wolf, and I'm back at it again with another reaction. And today we got a long one, but a good one, because I know my Hall fam is going to appreciate this and the way I'm going to do it. So, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel or just not returning, and you know haven't hit that subscribe button, do me a favor smash that sub button become a part of the wolves den family get these daily reactions that i drop have fun let's go down a rabbit hole let's spread love positivity and music and games and art love let's be positive in here so that being said y'all hog fam we got tom mcdonald's white boy but the long part is we're going to watch right now Tom McDonald's white boy before the shoot. Then I'm going to go into the video of white boy. So without further ado, let's get into Tom McDonald white boy before the shoot. So being as this is like a super like edgy piece of content, I'm going to play you guys a song right now. Um, everybody sort of knows what to, what to expect. The first verse especially is pretty rocky, purposefully, to engage the people that are watching it. Second verse onward, it, it smooths out quite a bit. I'm Canadian, okay, so the, the, yeah, so the, the, so, the social climate in Canada in terms of like race relations and, and that type of thing is completely different than it is here in America. Um, and like, quite simply put, like I wasn't prepared for um, that, how intense the, the racial shit is out here. Obviously like the roots in America run far deeper than they do in Canada. So it was like pretty eye-opening to come out here and especially like under Donald Trump's administration and everything that that perpetuates, um, it was pretty like eye-opening for me to, um, to experience that. And because the last two songs I released were targeting the content of mumble rap, so like over-sexualization of women, alcohol consumption, Xanax use, overspending, party culture, like that type of thing. And because I targeted that content, I had a lot of people, like the page, my page went from like a thousand likes to like almost 200,000 likes uh, in, the, in the course of like three months. So there's hundreds of thousands of comments on these videos and a small portion of them, but enough for me to like, my phone blows up all day. And I look down at what people are saying on these videos. Mm -hmm. And a quarter of these hundreds of thousand comments are people saying like, Yo, this guy's a fucking racist. He's targeting black rappers. He's a culture vulture, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which just comes with the territory. But it's like we've never targeted black rappers. We didn't target any rappers of a particular color. We targeted rappers of a particular content. And there's white rappers and there's Asian rappers and there's all types of rappers that talk about that exact same shit. So this song was fueled by pretty much the reaction to my last two videos. Um, and it has less to do with um, me feeling like I need to stand up and say, hey, I'm not racist, and more to do with me feeling like I need to respond to these people that have been saying wild shit on a public forum that is my page for the last three months. Gotcha. So, so it's more of like a culture shock from you moving in and these people assuming that you're racist. Absolutely. And I mean... So it was a culture shock for him because in Canada, you know, their racial climate is totally different in the United States. I have a friend in, in Canada and there's certain, there's certain stuff they don't care about that much that causes that tension that we care about over here. So kind of makes me want to take my ass to uh, Canada and see what's up over there. My, my neighbor, some of the stuff he listens to is like, 
straight up is anti-white. And it blares from his house all the time. And he talks to me. He's like, yo, you got a problem with this shit? And I'm like, no, nah, bro, it's music. Like, it's all good. So anyways, I had him come over to the house. Um, and I played him this song before I even decided to go through with the video or whatever. And is is like very, very, very like pro-black. Like very pro-black. And he, he straight up told me, he said, look, Tom, like, I understand that like you're a rapper and like, yeah, you're one of the good ones and you want to be down with like hip hop culture and da 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 da. Um, he's like, I'm gonna tell you straight up, just because I live in America and I grew up here and as my experiences as a black man in America, if I didn't know you and I saw you walking down the street and I'm hanging out with my black friends, I'm assuming you're racist before I even fucking talk to you because yeah. his analogy was if there's a barrel full of snakes and half of them are poisonous, I don't have the fucking time to stick my hand in and figure out which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't because at the end of the day they all fucking bite. That's what he said to me. Um, and, and it's that, that it's, and he's my friend. But it's that mindset that a lot of people, and I'm not saying that he's wrong, but it's not something that I relate with being from Canada. Yeah. Um, and it's that mindset that a lot of people came to me on Facebook with in response to the mumble rap videos. And at the end of the day, like that's what I was responding to with this record. You can only read these things on Facebook for so long until it does start touching you on some emotional level. And it does like start to anger you and stuff. So, so, so some of this is fueled from anger. I did my best to have it come from an angry place at times, but not a hateful place. Um, but some of it was done intentionally so that people stop and say, well, that's bullshit. He shouldn't have fucking said that. Because the reason this is taking place in a classroom setting is because this is a learning environment and an environment that incites discussion. So like, I want some of those people to say, hey, this is bullshit, you shouldn't have said that. I need those people. It, that's what's gonna spark the conversation. So. I definitely understand. Um, reason being, I just moved from Belize not too long ago. Oh. And race is not really like something we focus on. Like we know there's Chinese people, we know there's different types of people, but we don't really focus on black or white. Yeah. So a couple months moving out of here when I was going to community college, and there was something happening, but I can't remember what happened. But one of my friends at the time on the track, he was like, oh, that happened because you're black. And I looked at him, I was like, what, what does that mean? Like, I didn't understand what the joke, the context of the joke, mm -hmm. so like, I had to ask him, he explained it, and that's how I learned about race. So I definitely relate to what you said. Yeah. I mean, people aren't that... That's crazy. It's not such of a non-issue in Canada where it's at a point where people wouldn't understand something like that. Like, it definitely does exist in Canada, but not to the degree of intensity that exists out here. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so yeah, that's where that's where I'm at. So I just wanted to, uh, the reason I told everybody about it on the phone is just, um, I didn't think it was fair to bring everybody in here and then to play the song and expect everybody to just deal with it, um, which is why I sort of gave everybody the disclaimer on the phone. And that's why I wanted to play you guys the song right now. So as long as everybody's cool, um, we'll get on with it. Oh, it's playing now. There we go. All right, y'all. So we just watched uh, Tom McDonald's White Boy before the shoot. Now we're going to head into the actual music video slash song uh, of Tom McDonald's White Boy. <laughs> I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a <laughs> Hold on He wouldn't lie about the, the first verse was, was, was uh, uh, yeah I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Like he's, he's not, he's not wrong in the first, the first verse. Like me personally, uh, I mean, I'm multi, I'm multi-raced, but I'm black. Um, oh, shocker. <laughs> but being of, uh, of being a black man in America, like I, I can get why he would say that because most of us would be like, you know, most of us hate or are angry at the white culture because of things they didn't do. So for him being like, I know I'm white, but I didn't put your head in the noose. I didn't burn a cross on your front line. I mean, he's saying it and it's out there, but it's 
truth. It's real. I respect them more for not sugarcoating it. Those are the most intellectual conversations or the conversations you can have without sugarcoating it and have constructive criticism and a constructive conversation. And it's like he's a constructive rapper. Like, I love it. I love it. All right, I'm ready, y'all. I'm ready. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents. Facts. Just said it. Facts. Getting blamed for something you didn't do. Like, and me, I love everybody. You know, I love everybody. I don't care what race you are. So, like, it's powerful what he's saying, honestly. Parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And not white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil. Neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say... The white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. What? Oh. Boy, don't say that, white boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. Dear white boy. All this stuff using the internet. on some cognac sitting next to me i don't assume that every black's favorite drink is hennessy i don't mm. dislike tanisha because her first name isn't stephanie not only mm. is that wrong it's a waste of energy I fucking facts not only is it wrong but it's a waste of energy let's go tom let's go that's what i'm talking about tap dear let's go Ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same, Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts, he's white and he rags, facts. he stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame, he's siphoning gas, so f*** this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within, and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. Mm. White boy. Woo! Look, like he said about his friend, I'm pro-black. I'm honestly pro everybody, to be fucking for real. Like, I don't have the time or energy to look down on anybody because I'm no better than the next person beside me. And Castle's taught, <laughs> Castle's taught me that. I won't say taught me that, but Castle's just, you know, reinforced that within me. So, the fact that he's addressing, I have been some, around some different people, not even black, different ethnicities that will say the same thing about white people and I, I and i might know that person actually and be like dang you're just labeling him a, a racist or or this and that just because his skin man they all the same what that's no fair that fucking sucks like how are we gonna say that fucking sucks and then we put it on somebody else so like i understand what he's talking about i i i, I get the message as usual and I'm empathetic and feeling for it. And I love that he's touching this subject. They woke y'all. Cause time is a good one. Don't say that, white boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy. Dear white boy. Sister, an auntie, and uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby, so go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to yep. hate the white people, hey. just make the distinction Woo. between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Ooh. Stop before you say Spit it. That. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? 
You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. Oh my goodness. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, and neither did our dads or our dads' dads. Hit that shit. Sakes acknowledging atrocities oh. were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man. For I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, Woo. and neither did our dads or our dads' dads. Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would Fuck yes. I, I, I know I'm supposed to censor myself and not be cussing like that, but the yes, Tom. I felt that so hard. My eyes are tearing up. I felt that. Like, I would never hate a man because of what God gave him for his pigment. Talk, yo. Sh mm. I gave him in pigments and I would never plot against convicted i would never hate a man for what god gave him in pigments and i would never plot against him just because he is different i would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with white people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers they're the rockefellers rothschilds bushes and royals Woo! they're the people who Boy named the Rothschilds. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, he woke woke. Me and Tom are woke woke. I know exactly what who he just named. My boy. Woo. Lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your communities with drugs that they spoil. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. They're fighting hatred with hatred, making the hate more intense. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. Being white and being racist aren't the same, man, I promise. No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem. And you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in common. Let's white go. Boy, you got so much in common. Don't say that, white boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy. Wish you were black, white boy, be a white boy. Say that white boy, oh you so bad, white boy, you wish you were black, white boy, dear white boy. Mm. Mm. Look y'all, that that video is enough said. Y'all already saw heard what I was saying. I, I I'm honestly speechless. I am honestly speechless. Speechless. The only, the only thing I can fathom to, to just get out my mouth right now is the beat was banging as usual. The beat was awesome, but boy, the message he just told and when he named them at the end. Bruh. Bruh. <coughs> Yo, excuse me. I'm really speechless. That was just beyond emotional. And I got emotional a few times. Like it was, he, Tom is very, very talented and I'm loving my journey. I'm loving my ride. And he has a new hog forever. Like I am hog fam forever. Like that song, that song just did it for me. That, like, he's been doing it, but that right there was like that, that, top of the cake, top tier, 
Like, man, so if you guys feel the same way I feel about it, or if you guys just love Tom McDonald and love how he spreads the message and love, make sure you guys like this video, comment underneath what you guys think. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell to be notified when I drop these videos at 12 p.m. Eastern noon 5 p.m eastern and i might have some surprise ones when when certain ones just drop out of nowhere y'all it's been real you already know what time it is it's your boy locked wolf i will see you guys next time oh my goodness tom then did it again I love y'all always for it never backwards late does not mean denied i'll see y'all later peace